students of fine transistor radio literature know this book. And those who know this book know the primary author, Roger Handy, loved this radio. Authors don't fill a page with something they are indifferent about. Want to see the whole radio and the box it came in? I do. So here it is, the True Tone DC3090, in one of the cheesiest boxes in all of transistor radiodom. Yes, I said transistor radiodom. It's the kind of box you usually saw on toy radios or on radios with fewer than six transistors. And indeed, this is a three-transistor radio. The radio's styling is based on the Sony TR610 radio, the most copied transistor radio design of all time. And this is one of the more fun adaptations of that design. Anything with a flying V or any kind of wings on it is all right in my book. There's quite a tradition of these wings and Vs in mid-20th century design, as I have elaborated on elsewhere in other videos. This handsome little radio has a wire handle that doubles as a stand. It's only seen in black, as a true tone anyway, but variations of this radio appear with other names on them, in other colors, including a nice aqua. Opening it up, we see a nicely made little goober that the final inspection has revealed to be okay. It's got ten transistors in it. I thought you said it had three. It does. It has three ten transistors in it. Okay, who's on first? No, what I mean is the three transistors in this radio say ten on them. T-E-N. If I wasn't such a smart aleck, I would have already told you that this is a brand of Kobe Kogyo Corp. That 10 is not meant to be a number or initials either. It is a translation of the Chinese character, which means something like heaven in Chinese and Japanese. Kobe Kogyo, or 10, started in 1920 as Kawanishi Machine Works and eventually evolved into a name that might be more familiar to some, Fujitsu 10. The company still exists as Denso 10, making car audio, video, and other stuff under the Eclipse brand. But it's not believed that Kobe Kogyo made this radio. Some of those other variants I've seen have NEC transistors in them. Here's an ad for one of those variants, the 6-transistor Dream 6. I've seen 3, 4, and 6-transistor variants with names like Hereever, Suntone, Elgin, and this Dream 6. When I saw this ad, I thought, ah, here's the actual maker of this radio. But no, T. Chaitani and company was, and still is, a middleman or a distributor. Or to call them what they call themselves, they are a trading company. Well, they've been at it since 1909, so they must be good at it. And who was the retailer of this True Tone radio? And in fact, all the True Tone radios. Where could you buy them? Well, you know that Sears sold the Silvertone brand radios, right? And Montgomery Wards sold the airline brand. And Pencrest was a Penny's brand. W.T. Grant stores sold the Bradford brand. And the list goes on. But who sold True Tone? Well, you often see a WA logo crest on True Tone radios, though there isn't one on this radio. WA, what could that stand for? And look at this battery specification on the inside of this radio. It calls for a regular 9 volt, to be sure, but not an EverReady, Rayovac, Burgess, Mallory, or any of the rest. It calls for a Wizard battery. Now, where would you get a Wizard brand battery? Here's that battery, and it's got that crest on it I told you about with the WA on it. Western Auto. That's where you got True Tone radios and True Tone TVs, for that matter, and Wizard batteries and Wizard garden hoses, for that matter. Western Auto out of Kansas City, Missouri. You'll find an entire video on the Western Auto catalog on this channel, and I invite you to check it out if you're a person who likes shopping for stuff you can't buy at unbelievably cheap prices in a store that isn't there anymore. And here is a Western Auto ad for this exact radio, on sale for $18.88. It says, cigarette pack size, but this gold-trimmed black beauty packs power to keep you tuned in anywhere, with easel stand, less battery, a great buy.
That's what it says. A great buy is right. At that price, I'll take all I can get. Now, where is that store that no longer exists? And how late aren't they open? <laughs> 